hello and welcome back and uh, so in this video we're gonna understand the FS module of node.js so let's me take uh, a same setup here so first of all uh, what I do is FS module so FS module is nothing but a file system module uh, so which you can find actually in the client side JavaScript okay uh, so file system means using node.js you can create a file you can read to a file you can read the file you can write some content to the file and you can create a folder structure like every kind of a file operation is can be possible with node.js file system module and it's a core module it's an inbuilt of node okay let's see how to use that uh, but i need to have a setup mm, let me do one thing okay let me just copy this same setup first let me stop the server of existing okay so let's copy this and paste it let's say 0 4 let's say core module and what is that module is fs module the same setup i'm using okay mm, fine i got it so now uh, i don't need the os i don't need this i don't need the response nothing okay it's back to original now and let me start the server so you can just right click open terminal you go to the exact location of this folder and just say um, npm start so this is gonna start the server meanwhile uh, wait it's starting come on yeah it started fine so now what I do is let's use the FS module so first of all I just import or oh, uh, FS from uh, FS module so along with FS module I also need another module called path so what is the path module is to construct some dynamic paths for uh, certain locations of the folders use the path module and path also uh, is, a, is a part of node it's a, it's a core module so let's import path as well path from path okay so now you got the fs and path uh, now let's start with fs module okay so what my plan here is uh, i just create a folder called a uh, data folder in data folder i'm gonna create a file that is uh, let's say file let's say some notes uh, uh, dot txt file okay so data folder in that notes dot txt file is there and let me keep some content inside uh, for example let me go to uh, this about the node.js okay let me grab some content i just grab this paragraph i paste it and uh, I just grab some more content I just copy and paste it okay fine so in my notes.txt I have a certain content okay so what my plan is using my node.js program I'm gonna read that file content uh, using the FS module okay so here you have two kind of approaches asynchronous and synchronous always remember in node.js or whenever you're writing a server-side program always have to write asynchronous way of programming okay that is recommended and how can you achieve the asynchronous way of programming is uh, using callbacks promises and async await and don't worry every module is gonna give you a two set of functions one is synchronous and asynchronous especially for core module so we can just use that okay so let me what my plan now is read this content in my program so what I do is fs dot there is a function called read file there are actually two functions are there so read file and read file sync so whenever you have a sync word that is synchronous program and please try to avoid that function so use the first one and if you want to know more about the syntax and everything you can just have a look at the official uh, documentation of FS module yeah here it is see these many functions are available okay so like uh, ch mode change permissions synchronous like open directory read file like too many things okay so now my plan is I'm gonna read the file 
so let's say uh, you have a read file fs dot read file and they also give you a syntax and uh, they also give you each parameter belongs to what and what is the parameter they also give you an example see path is there options is there callback so what are the parameters each parameter belongs to what and an example let's use the same story here fs dot write file and i need to give the path first first parameter goes to be the path of the file and what is the path is data folder when when where i'm writing the program is server.ts file so if you stand at server.ts what is the location of my file in data folder from server there is a data folder nearby in that notes.txt so generally what people do is dot slash data folder slash notes dot txt this is how people write it will perfectly work no issue but the problem is you should never hard code these slashes okay so if you hard code this slashes these are actually works in windows system if it is a linux system or mac you have this type of slashes okay so instead of hard coding the slashes we can specify the path dynamically using the path module so for to specify the path we will write like this path dot join underscore underscore directory name yeah what is this underscore underscore directory name is uh, this is the global variable in node.js to specify the current directory locations path okay so it means my this folder the main application folder comma and from there which folder data folder comma was the file notes dot txt that's my file name so if you write in this way what happens is this join function is going to construct the complete path according to the underlying platform if it is windows it make the slashes as per windows if it is linux it, it will make the slashes as per the linux system because we never know where we're going to deploy our, our application code it can be windows environment it can be linux environment so we need to make sure our code should work in every other environment okay so make sure you write in this way okay comma so the next parameter is options you need to provide some encoding options the so character encoding uh, regularly is utf8 that is universally accepted uh, uh, every character uh, this encoding comma the, the last one is one callback function is a function okay three parameters are there first path then encoding and the last one is a callback function so this callback function also takes two parameters the error and the result so this error means if you ha if you face any issue if you have any issue while reading the uh, file content you get it will throw this error and if it is successful this result holds uh, the the content of the file okay so how you gonna fetch is you say if any error just throw the error okay okay this way you can write or else uh, what people write is uh, if there is any error the say console dot log of the error i want to see the error if not you can just say mm, the result but i don't want the result on the console i want the result on my this response page so what i do is uh, I just say response dot uh, end response dot end in this backtick. I just write a pre tag. Okay, in this I print my result. This result holds the data which is coming from the server. Okay, so let's check now. Uh, that's all. Uh, reading a file from the uh, file. I mean reading the. Uh, file content using the fs module read file function so let me this is done uh, let me check what is the file content so this is the file content and when i send a request for my server and it has to read the file and it has to send me the response with the file content okay so please check your server has started because of node mon and uh, so go to insomnia and click uh, send a request see you got the response so two paragraph has been displayed properly here okay 
so using the file system you can read the file content not only just read the file content you can even write to the file content so what i do is um i want to create see i tell you uh, i'm reading the notes.txt right and the same data i want that same data i want to write to a new file and i want to write this content to a new file so how you do is there is a function called write file okay there are a lot of sorry there are a lot of functions that are available in fs but we are just looking at a few uh, functions of it okay and uh, yeah what i do is uh, in this function itself i say fs dot uh, write fs dot write file and here you have to provide the path of the file which you want to create uh, the same data location the same data folder location i'm going to create a file something called data.txt okay so how you specify is again path dot join underscore underscore directory name comma data folder comma data dot txt and make sure there is no data dot txt here it will create by our program okay and yeah first one is a path uh, for write function and the second one is the actual data which you want to write to a file so what is the data we printed is result so result okay because whatever you're reading from a file the same file content i want to write to some other file okay and the second one is uh, the options that is regular utf8 uh, format and one callback lastly you have a callback function so this callback function uh, takes only one parameter that is error okay so how you handle the error is so if there is any error just do a console dot log of error okay if everything successful i will send a response uh, uh, like this i'll send a response stating that uh, uh, data is written to a file that's all okay confirmation okay fine so what it does in this program so whenever you send a request to the server so what my server does is it's simply reading the file content from notes.txt and the same content it is writing back to another file called data.txt okay and you also get the confirmation message is this one in the response let me check now and let's see there is no data.txt here so what i do is i go back and just click on send see you got the response data is written to a file so now let's check see in data folder one extra file got generated or created which contains the same file content okay so this is how you read from the file and write it to a file okay so fine so i'll give you a task when this same example you try but not just read from notes.txt you can read from the current to file what's the current file server.txt server.ts file so server.ts file is also just like a file it's a program but it's a file so try to mimic the same example and try to read from the current program and read the file content and write to some other file the same program so i mean to say is i want to generate a new file which contain my same my program which is there in a server.ts file try that out okay so i know it's very basic function but which gives you an idea how to use the core modules of fs and all this okay so let's uh, meet in the next video and there we'll see how to read some json data okay so let's see in the next video thank you